you for um, everything that you do. You, you're consistent with everything that you do. You're consistent with these meetings. You're always looking for ways to improve how you serve us as a team, as a market center. And I just wanted to thank you for that. You're very welcome. You're very, very welcome. It is, it is a passion of mine to serve. And um, I am grateful to, to, to be a part of this meeting with each of you, because this is your meeting. This is the agents meeting and um, I'm here for you. Next year's peers. I have me. Yes. Yeah, just to piggyback off of what Sarah said, uh, basically all to you guys, to you, Alan, Richard, always finding ways to grow the market center. Of course, Sue, Ryan, um, you know, we appreciate everything that you do. And uh, it's great to be in business with people that always think about growth. Because that makes us <coughs> up for as well. So I appreciate that. And uh, just cheers for peers for you guys. Thank you. Is there somebody else? That hopped on there i have one she yes um i wanted to thank lee uh for being a a team leader to check us and put us in place and and we take it constructively so i just want you to know that <laughs> and what and we don't want you to think we ever get offended by anything i any constructive criticism you give me i accept it and i work on it so I thank you for being the person to like be straightforward and check it when it needs to be checked. Amen. Amen. And what Sheik is referring to is, is we are growing. We are in the process of growing the most successful productivity coaching program in South Florida. That means we're going to blow Coral Springs out of the water. We're going to blow Fort Lauderdale out of the water and any other company's productivity coaching program. Between Eddie and Chica, these two have all the talent necessary. And right now on this call, they have enough talent to, to make a mark and make their mark and grow the largest, most successful productivity coaching program in South Florida. And, I, and that's what these two uh, have, a, have, have a passion to do. Right, Chica and Eddie? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So, and I have one great. more. I want to give one more. Go ahead. Um, so, so Tony, um, he's a really, he's our new agent to the office. He's in the program. And I just wanted to give him um, accolades just for being driven and accepting um, constructive criticism on his part as well and just participating in everything. Yeah, he just hopped on right now. Uh-huh. I text him. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. Sweet. So, do we have one or two more? Gratitude. I have one. Yes. Go ahead, Chloe. So I want to thank uh, Catherine Page for calling me and checking on me. And I know it's been a while. I didn't see any of you guys in person, but I always appreciate Catherine being so nice and friendly and checking on me. And, and that's it. So. Awesome. Thanks, Chloe. You're welcome. All right. We have one more. Positive vibes and energy. Go once, going twice. All right, well then that moves us to our guests. So we have one guest slash new agent who is on the call and I just wanna give her props here because she's not on the um, next slide that it would be and that is uh, Ali Huey. Welcome to uh, the team, welcome to the party. Um, and uh, so technically you are a guest today and yet by uh, the next hour or so you will be a the newest member of our awesome awesome team uh, we are already at nine new agents this month pushing 11 to 12 uh, so very very grateful for you uh, being a guest here today and uh, uh, jumping on board with with our team uh, so thank you Ali for participating well, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you giving the shout out. Uh, it's definitely everything new 
but it's becoming a, a little bit uh, more familiar. I first joined KW in 2010, and now coming back 2020 seems to be uh, quite a warm welcome. So thank you, Eddie and Consuelo, for thinking of me. I, I really do see this team to be an amazing opportunity and look forward to growing a team right along with you guys. Um, I'm a little bit lost on the residential. I do a lot of uh, commercial investment and malls and hotels and things like that, but it doesn't mean that I don't do a lot of the residential as well, which I'm actually looking forward to going back to the basics. So again, thank you so much for thinking of me, Eddie and Consuelo. Look forward to growing the team. Amen. Thank you and thank you. And we are we are growing with talent. We are growing with energy and uh, growing with opportunity. Um, as you guys heard, uh, Ali puts together big deals, strip plazas, um, investor, uh, new construction, the the whole nine. So you have yourselves a great asset here um, as we as we continue through. So so thank you. Okay, I, I'm in contact with her soon. Yes, yes, and yes, right, David. Um, can I get a volunteer to read the Y4C2Ts and the mission statement on the next page? So, one volunteer, please. Win win or no deal. Integrity, do the right thing. Customers always come first. Commitment in all things. Communication, seek first to understand. Creativity, ideas before results. Teamwork. Together, everyone achieves more. Trust starts with honesty. Success results through people. Awesome. And the mission statement. Building careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. Well done, Tony. Spoken, <laughs> spoken like a performer. Isn't that, isn't that like a performer? <laughs> what was that, David? Like another Brian Jones, right? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Tony, you, you might have just gotten that job. <laughs> <laughs> what, announcer? Yeah. I'm down. yeah. Building careers worth having. <laughs> he is an artist, so you know. <laughs> I know it. I know it. I know it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So please note, please note, team, this is the last Monday morning team meeting. The very last one, we are moving our meeting to Thursdays at 11.15. So that way you can get your lead generation in the morning. That way you could have your Monday mornings just to sleep in if you choose or do your work, do whatever it is that your heart <laughs> desires. Um, however, um, this has been a long time coming and um, we we are we are excited about the change of time so all of the uh back office all of the uh training calendars will reflect the new time and uh looking forward to to seeing each of your smiling faces next thursday at 11 15 a.m so sue agenda fire away Welcome, good morning, good morning everyone. So we want to welcome our new family members. Um, Gabriel, Isasi, Titi Velasquez, Kim Gonzalez, Ashley Jordan, Consuelo Parkinson. Welcome to the family guys. Yes. And there's nothing more that warms my heart when I see your names under our new agents as sponsors and so the name under our newest agent is regard to the sponsorship and uh, that is how we earn profit share and what we call the gift the next page bull pivot starts next week and many of you uh, received an email from me yesterday, and this is the outline of the email. So Bold 2.0 came around. Many of the agents on this call had the, 
several back-to-back months better than they had in, in, in some cases a few years. Call it a coincidence, call it focus, call it luck. Um, however, agents who were in bold in May took more listings and more contracts than those that did not. <clears throat> Mindset is extremely important and all the sessions are recorded because it's a digital bold. It's $99 and the market center will reimburse you. And anyone on this call who does not have the money, call me and we'll have a conversation. I'll pay for you. It's that simple. I'm here for you. Ryan, floor is yours. Sorry, I had to unmute myself because yes. when Sarah's dog was barking, mine were barking back. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of uh, important dates coming up, as we are all aware, the Waxman stimulus package that was in place. July 31 ends the um, increased commission splits that everyone's been receiving. So we need to get all closings turned in that would be eligible for that increased commission split by Friday. So Friday is also the end of the month. So we are doing, you know, we go into transmittal on Monday morning. Um, for those who don't know what transmittal is, it's a stopping of not all office operations, but the office operations of processing money because we have to close the books and turn in those books to KWRI. And that takes, um, takes a good little bit of time to pull it all together and get it pulled and sent in. And we have to actually go through an OP review with Alan. So um, Friday's really the last day to get something turned in if you want it included with your July numbers. Um, so get things in by Friday at the end of the day. Um, another date that's coming up August 31st for those who attended this prior session of Bold Pivot, that is the last day to request reimbursement. So if you had a contract that went under contract while you were attending Bold, so that means after the May 5th start date that closed and closes before August 31, you are eligible to be reimbursed for bold. So if you had a closing and have not been re requested your reimbursement, send those reimbursement requests to my email address with the address of the property you want considered for reimbursement. Um, but we have until August 31 to get the bold reimbursement requests in. So. Awesome. Any questions? Anyone have any questions for Ryan? All right, take it away. Yep, so that flows us into, let's meet our uh, leadership council. So on here we have Chloe, Anna, Pablo, and David. Yay. Hi. So, so guys, the goal here is, is we have, uh, outside of you, about 20 or so of our agents. Uh, many of them have, have not had the opportunity to meet you in person, or if they have, haven't, haven't had the opportunity to see you in, in, in quite a while. And so my, my hallucination or my vision of the next 15, 20 minutes or so um, is just to get to know you guys on, a, um, on, a, on, on another level. Um, so, so first, let me share what is the Agent Leadership Council. And so every Keller Williams office in the world has a leadership council. And to participate in the leadership council, you, you have to be in the top tier of agents um, based on production. And so um, we then go through a vetting process uh, and, 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 and ask, is this something that you could see yourself serving on? And, and this year, your 2020 um, ALC is what's on the screen right now. Now, they volunteer, they selflessly serve, and spend many man hours outside of their business focusing on our market center. And I emphasize the word selflessly because they do it not for them, for you, for us, for the market center, and, and, and 
do everything they can to move us in a forward direction so that we can make this the best office ever in existence. And so again, thank you guys for taking time out of your day. And, and in, in no particular order, I'm just gonna put the question out there. You know, guys, what's your, what motivated you to build your real estate business or what's your big why? What drives you in your business daily? And I'll just open that up for whichever you guys wanna go first and just share so everyone can learn a little bit about you. I can go first. Yes, go ahead, Anna. Hi, my name is Anna. Um, I'm Brazilian, and um, I have been with Keller Williams for a year and a half. This year has been quite a journey for me. Um, I became my LLC member um, in the end of last year when Lee invited us to be on board and. I'm very excited about this office. Um, I have been growing a lot with this team and I have been learning and earning much more than I was earning and learning before I became, <clears throat> I became a LC member. And also because of that, I believe, like Lee said, I don't know if he's lucky or um, it's because we grow together. I have been um, selling and listing more properties than ever before. Um, so thank you so much. And I'm here for anything you guys need. If you need um, just shoot call and say hi or need a, a talk about real estate or about life or about anything, I'm here to help. Awesome. I believe my name and my number is in the roster in, from the office. So you guys feel free to call and say hi and to ask anything. If I can help, I'll be more than happy to do so. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Anna. Who's next? I'll go ahead. All right, go ahead, David. Uh, hi, my name is uh, David, David Baez. I've, um, I've been with Keller Williams now for about a year, a year and a half as well. Um, I've been in the business for, this is my third year that I'm entering now. So yeah, I mean, uh, I'm here. What, my big why is obviously my family, uh, for those of you that don't know me yet, and I look forward to meeting you all. Um, I'm a native of North Miami Beach, North Miami. I'm born and raised in this area. So if anyone needs anything, anything regarding any contracts, negotiations, I'm always a call away as well. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's it for me. And look forward to meeting you all in person very soon. Awesome. Thank you. I'll go next. Go ahead, Chloe. Okay, so um, I'm Chloe. Nice to meet everyone. I can't wait to meet all of you in person. I don't know when, but I'm sure it's going to happen someday. Um, I'm from France. Um, to answer the question uh, why I got into this business, well, at first I would say really um, candidly money and freedom. I don't like other people to tell me what to do. And now that I'm actually in the business, I would say it's... Um, uh, grow as an agent, uh, work very hard to reach my goals, and just become a better person in general. And I think that Keller Williams is uh, pretty unique in the sense that I think it's the only company that is not only focusing on um, the business per se, but also your growth as a person. So um, that would be my answer to the question. I agree. Awesome. Thank you, Chloe. Wow. So... Marbe is not here, so I guess I'm next. Uh, my name is Pablo Guerra. Uh, privileged to be here with Keller Williams now going into my 12th year in December, so I'm quite excited. Uh, number 12 is the year of all possibilities, so things are just beginning to happen. Uh, to answer uh, the question that Lee posed, uh, the big why. Why did um, we got it, I got into real estate? What motivates me to stay in real estate? Uh, going back, I remember when I was 19 and uh, the idea of becoming a real estate agent 
enter my consciousness. At that moment, something magical took place. Uh, a, a mental image popped instantly. And that image had a beautiful house with an American flag and fireworks. So I guess it was sometime in July <laughs> because of all that. <laughs> Uh, yet it was so beautiful and had all that uh, enthusiasm and, and, and knowledge for me to pursue that. Um, and, and as I did, uh, very important people uh, began to appear in my life, uh, including that very first manager that took me under her wings and adopted me almost like if I was her uh, next son and guided me through the first five years of my career in in. And as I continue, uh, beautiful things continue to happen. Uh, so that the big why was that image. And uh, it was the fact that I wanted to become someone important in someone's life. And uh, that image contained that, being someone important in someone's life. So I saw it a, a realtor being someone important, uh, someone that could um, facilitate the process of acquiring uh, the most sacred space, which is home. Uh, until today, I'm excited every morning about that, that I am that individual that um, uh, is the leader of that process to uh, serve people in order for them to acquire that sacred space, which is home. Uh, and, and I do that uh, today by serving at that level and at this level as your ALC member. Uh, and being part of this group uh, has allowed me to um, express all this with uh, uh, the love and passion for well-being, uh, to bring well-being uh, into the life experience of each of the person and the people that I encounter. And I do that with uh, simplicity, keep it simple, uh, with integrity, just do the right thing at the right time for the right purpose, uh, courage to be able to express my vision, and yet compassion that someone else may not be able to see my vision, yet together uh, we can create a vision of growth. So here I am. Amen. Awesome. Wow, thank you. Um, let's do a, a, a one more kind of get to know uh, each of you. What's uh, one fun fact about each of you that, um, that, that the team may not know? I will. Since I was, oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, I thought we switched to another, okay, go ahead. Yeah. No. Well, since I was the last one uh, to answer, let me be the first one at this <laughs> Yeah, level. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for those that don't know me, uh, among my family and friends, I'm just a little kid. I, I behave like a little child. And uh, you don't get to see that much in the office. Uh, so that's something that uh, if you become my friend, you probably will uh, realize. Uh, I love that. Pablo, my favorite, my favorite times with you is, is when we would play Jeopardy and your competitive oh. nature, your competitive nature comes out and you're like, I am going to win. But I win. Well, 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 that's the title in me. Uh, I'm, I create all that commotion and craziness and, and that's what you don't see very often. And among my uh, siblings and my friends, uh, they get to see that more often. Oh, so good. Thank you, Pablo. Go ahead, Chloe. No, Pablo's fun fact is more fun than mine now. Um, uh, okay, no, I just, it's, <laughs> never mind. Okay, before I used to hunt houses, I was a headhunter. Like, I used to hunt for people, you know? Like, so I think it's, it's very similar because it was not like a posting job offers. It was literally hunting the new CFO, the new whatever for big international groups. And um, I think it's, uh, I like the hunt basically. So that's, that's, I don't know if it's fun, but. No, no that's, that's exactly what the question was. Um, that is a fun fact. I did not know that you were a, uh, a headhunter before real estate. So, so as you know, that's what my fiance is as well. So it's a, right. it's a, it's a unique, um, 
uh, person to, to thrive in that world. Especially when you look for um, weird jobs like, I don't know how to say in English, cryptographers. Um, that, 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 that type, stenographer? No, 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 the one that are in charge of in, encrypting the data for banks and, and like very people that they don't want to be contacted, like they don't want to be found and actuaries and all kind of fun stuff, so yeah. That is a fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Chloe. Awesome. Good, David. Uh, well, my fun, I mean, my fun fact, I don't know if it's a fun fact, I mean, <laughs> I like, I like. I mean, just to tell a bit about myself. I mean, I like to work out, and uh, and I love food. So I guess you can say that I work out so that I can eat my food. So uh, that's one fun fact about me, right there. That's awesome. Awesome, David. Thank you. And that leave you, Anna. I don't know if this is fun or not, but uh, <laughs> well, with all that, I don't know. Well, I um before I was a real estate agent. I had a um, clothing business in Brazil. I oh. came with a fashion background. Um, I went to an international fine arts school here in Miami. I did fashion merchandising and um, I worked for different uh, international brands in Bar Harbor shops for eight years. Uh, and I had my, uh, my own clothing business when I moved back um, to Brazil and now I'm here working with real estate and I have two cats. So I don't know if this is fun or not, but for me, they're the fun of my life and I really appreciate them. They are my heart here. If, um, if you guys need any advice in clothing or kids, uh, you can talk to me. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, guys. This was this went as good as uh, as 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 I knew it would. Um, I'm grateful for you spending a couple minutes here. And um, uh, team, this is this is your leadership council, and uh, they have been rock stars. Marve, um, unfortunately, was not able to make it. She is on a three week vacation in Turkey with her family. So um, they got a little bit of a different time time zone and. Uh, different time of the day. So, so thank you, David, Anna, Pablo, and Chloe for your service <laughs> and taking this time out of your day. Um, thank you. You're very welcome. Which, which leads us to like to do the same thing with, uh, with the PC coaches. So we are building the, the largest productivity coaching program in South Florida, uh, the most successful and largest. And uh, it's going to be led by Eddie and Chica. So, so whichever you guys want to go first, what's your big why and, and what got you into uh, real estate? Um, I started real estate in 2004. Um, a family, a really close family friend, she was a realtor with Midtown Realty. So, you know, that's like a long time ago. She's actually was our realtor when we moved from Brooklyn to Miami. And it just, it was just really interesting just to see her go show houses and we walk into the house and we were like, Oh, wow. You know, and it became ours. So it was kind of exciting to move into new homes and see how um, my grandmother reacted. Um, my family reacted to this new home. And it just brings me gratification. I, I, I love sellers, but for some reason I work more in buyers because I just love to see when they get their keys. They're so happy They're It's just a, a, a some type of fulfillment for me to see people happy closing on their homes. Um, so I've been in real estate, the industry since 19, um, from apartment communities uh, and real estate at the same time. And so my why is to just fulfill people's dreams and, and see them happy. And, and it just, it gives me gratification just to see other people uh, meet their goals. Love it. Eddie, you're up. So my big why is like David Baez, my big why is family. Uh, my license is dated 7-11-1989. Uh, my daughter was born in 7-18-1989. And then I followed up with another daughter on 7-18-1995. Wow. <laughs> so 
July is a very happy month for me, kind of. So my license and my two daughters were born the same month. Um, that's how my big why started. Well, my big why was long before that. I, when I came to this country in 1984. So it started from that onwards because I thought this was the place I want to be. Uh, this is where I want to raise my family. And this is what, where I want to start my business. So I got into real estate business in 1989. And after 31 years of doing it and still loving it passionately, I want to pass it on to my students, which I started doing in 2016 with my coaching program in New York. And um, I saw the happiness on the face when they are not lost anymore with the coaching program, which uh, inspired me to move to, to Florida in 2020, which I planned seven years ago. And I met Lee uh, last year uh, around Memorial, Memorial Day time. And I said, Lee, do you have a coaching program? And he said, no. I said, would you like to have a coach? And he said, yes. I said, can I be one? The following year, he said, yes. And then I planned it from that point onwards that here I am. Um, so we have like maybe 25, 27 students already enrolled in our program. And we'll keep on growing it till our goal, of course, is to have at least 100 agents in our program, uh, contributing at least 25% uh, to the company donor. Yeah. That's our goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Eddie and Chica, one fun fact about you. <laughs> you want me to go first or you want to go first? I'll go first. I like to dance. <laughs> <laughs> and collect bases or uh, lamps. Yeah. Um, so, I actually have a pool. And... I'm using it just for workouts and recreational. <laughs> Heard? So you like to dance? I, I'm a dancer. I did, I, I did ballet, modern tap, and jazz for 10 years. Uh, my dream was to uh, um, uh, um, audition for New World Academy and become a dancer with Alvin Ailey. That was my dream when I was younger. <laughs> um, but I became a mom, a young mom, and you know things changed and. That's, that's what I used to do, and that's what I like to do. That's my fun fact. <laughs> Thank you, Chica. Eddie? Um, growing up uh, as, a, as a college uh, student, as a high school student, I was a track and field um, star in my... Um, with age, of course, I had to let go of the track and field. So now I got into swimming, so my favorite is swimming. I could swim for an hour straight, nonstop. I could do that four or five days a week. Um, wow. So the place I looked for had to have a pool and I have a pool. Love it. Cool. Thank you, ALC, Leadership Council and uh, Productivity Coaches. So, so Shika, we, um, if you could just kind of um, push through um, the, the, what you recommend uh, the, the heavy hitting classes for this week. So, so every morning we have James Shaw and then John Dietz at eight thirty. Right. Right. Um, what's important about the John Dietz class at eight thirty? The importance of the John Dietz class. He gives you all the highlights, all the tips, all the objection handling, um, anything for lead generation, how to generate leads, how to overcome objections how to deal with contracts and, and any type of controversials that may come up during the transactions. Um, it's not the same topic every single day. So that's why you got to tune in every day because there will be a different topic the next day and the next day. And all of his um, sessions will um, touch home for you to have some, you either will go through something or you're currently going through it. Awesome. Awesome. And then um, there's, there's the, 2 p.m. with Cinch, so so that you, you can learn more about home warranties. And then 3.30, uh, the Waxman Group meeting. Uh, that is every Wednesday, I'm sorry, every Monday at 3.30. Um, so please, please, please attend that. And then tomorrow at 9.30, what's, what's, what's that uh, 9.30? Negotiating a deal with Mike, so sending offers, um, how to send offers and negotiate a deal with um, the agent, other agent. And group coaching with me at 1 p.m. And then on Wednesday at 9.30 in the morning? We have financial basics with Eddie. 
Eddie, let them know a little bit of what, what is, what's included in the financial basics. Uh, it, it breaks down your commission check um, to um, uh, cost of sales um, uh, to your other fixed expenses and what your net looks like. So this way you could plan um, your yearly goal, your monthly goal in a way where you know exactly what you're going to be netting at the end of the year. So Eddie, this is not financial basics for a buyer. This is financial basics for every agent in our office to build profitability. Correct. Awesome. Correct. And then I mean, knowing, knowing what your net is going to look like and what it is going to be per deal scenario, uh, you could set up your goal accordingly. Love it. Love it. And then I do group coaching Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So then we have elementals and then listing contract class at 1 p.m. on Thursday. Guys, you need to get caught up with the listing contracts. That's 1 p.m. on Thursday. And then uh, Friday, just know that Sheikah is going to share all of this with you. Uh, these are our heavy hitting classes for the week. Don't forget today at 3.30 is the Waxman call. And uh, let's open this up to our vendors. So, okay. All right. Floor is yours. All right. Sorry, Hello. I stopped into my office. How are you? Good, good. Um, so title. So everything is moving again. As I mentioned last time we spoke, closings are picking up. Um, business is moving and it's great. It's great to see. It's not only on the refinance market side, but also for just in sales side. So we're seeing a lot of movement. Um, in closings going through, which is a great sign. I will be teaching my contracts class in August. I've had several calls for some new from some new realtors who I've gone through really signing to just drafting the contracts to getting it signed by their buyer to submit offers to the seller from the actual contract to the appropriate riders to talking about how long you should set for inspection dates, um, the procedure for collecting escrow deposits. So I think that there's a definite need for me to reinforce what I teach in these classes. So once we have the date and the time scheduled, I'll be promoting it. And I encourage everyone to attend because it really is helpful, especially if you've never seen a contract before. So, um, I'm glad to offer my partnership in that regard to help you answer any questions you have about preparing your contracts, answering any questions you have about writers or, and how to present these offers to your clients because without the contract, we can't get to the closing. So um, let me know if anybody has any specific questions. And again, I'll be promoting my class coming up. Thank you everybody. Right. Catherine. Hi everybody. Um, hey. It was really fun learning a little bit about all of you today, things I didn't know. That was a cool bit. Thanks for that. Um, I'll be doing a training too. I haven't gotten my marching orders yet, what date or time. Um, but as soon as they get the calendar figured out, um, I hope you guys will be able to come. I'm not even sure what the subject is going to be. Um, I threw a couple of ideas out there, so I'm waiting to hear back. There is something that I'd like to talk about, though. Um, contracts. So I don't know if any of you are aware, but the mortgage industry is crazy, crazy busy right now. So for us, let's say that Van Dyke closes maybe 600 loans typically in a month. We're closing 1,200 a month. So we're slammed. So if you write a contract and you put a closing date on it of July 31st, please don't call me the week before and ask to close three days early or two days early. We go off closing dates always. We meet our closing dates. But if you have an idea that you want to close, just put it on the contract, please. Um, I don't want anybody to be disappointed. We're trying to manage everything as well as we can, but honestly, the volume is double. We're not the only mortgage company seeing this either. So as Ari said, we're really, really busy. So we're not accommodating any rushes um, unless it's on your contract. 
If you want to close on July 28th, put it on the contract. Don't say, oh, gee whiz, I'd really like to close sooner because we just, we can't do it. We can't accommodate it. It's just, we can't. So we used to be able to before, I don't know, maybe before April, but right now we're just slammed and everybody's slammed. So just be mindful when you write your contracts, put the date that you really, really want to close. All these contracts are, have so many dates, you know, um, finance contingency, appraisal contingency, inspection contingency. We stick to the dates. So you put them on there for a reason. So if you want to change them, you need to let me know way sooner than a week. So that's my, that's my little rant for today. So <laughs> enough. I, I think uh, to resolve that Catherine is, is if they're writing an offer, uh, they could reach out to you. You give the blessing on the date and away you go. Well, I mean, we'll, we're going to make your date. Well, meaning, not, I, I'd hate for them to put, well, I want to close in three weeks. And then you say, whoa, 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 hold on a second. I don't know that we could do that. Let's do, instead of 21 days, let's do 24 days. Well, yes, but we are, I mean, we are closing loans if we have to in three weeks. So if you've got a, a situation, yep. we can do it. But just don't tell me a week before that you want to move the data. Got it. That makes sense. Can I ask you a quick question, Catherine? Yep. Um, Catherine, what do you see as far as um, appraisal lately? Do you see they're coming up like normal, low, or, you know, because I feel the, real, the prices are definitely up for single families. So what's your take on recent appraisals? I just got an appraisal in today for a single family house in Boynton Beach. The purchase price was 273 and it came in at 280 so the single family homes are holding steady if not increasing yeah. the condos are the the condos are the issue yeah yeah okay and what's the uh going interest rate right now and i, and I know that it, there's a lot of variables like credit and uh length of loan and, and that sort of stuff but what are interest rates hovering around you can get a 30-year fix right now under three percent so it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. It's great. And 15 year, probably two and a half. And Catherine, I have one quick question regarding the closing date. As far as you being able to close earlier, since you mentioned you go by the dates, I'm assuming that if we get an addendum or something, it would be able to push sooner. Obviously, if it's not like a week before closing, though. Right. I mean, that's the thing. So our processing team works off dates. So if in our system, it says that you're closing on July 31st, and all of a sudden, a week before closing, you decide to change it. It's not going to fly. Have you been seeing any any appraisal waivers? Because my one of my clients had their own lender, and they actually got one on a property in Weston, which he accepted. So I'm just curious to see if you have been seeing any of those. Yes, more and more. I don't know why, but more and more. So, so what is an appraisal waiver? An appraisal waiver is where you put in the estimated value of the property either based on the contract or if it's a refinance you kind of keep your fingers crossed um, and if you run the system through du which is the fannie mae underwriting engine one of the first things on it will say appraisal waiver yes or no and we're seeing the waiver more often than not so it's a beautiful thing and it saves the buyer money too right sure does makes it like a cash offer too and it saves time because now we don't have to wait for the appraiser to go and come back and do the report, the report to be reviewed. So it's a beautiful thing and we're definitely seeing it more and more. So, so thank you. And, and for everyone on the call right now, you, you heard title and mortgage say it's intense right now. And what they're talking about is this right here. We are at a 65% absorption rate. 65%. <laughs> oh that God. means literally seven out of every 10 property on the market sells. Lee, is this including condos? This okay. is including condos. Now, granted, really? granted, knowing that, that Hollywood Beach and Hollywood Hills are two completely different markets, Hollywood Hills is like 70% absorption and the beach is that low absorption that goes to show how hot those areas really are. 
And Chloe, you you talked about this the other day where you were like, yo, Hollywood Hills is sizzling. It's on fire. I don't know. Even Hallandale, I listed a house uh, Friday. I'm stopping all showings. We have eight offers. Yeah. I'm going to present today. On the other hand, I have a listing in the SLS Lux, uh, SLS Lux downtown. There's eight years of inventory of that building. So it's a completely schizophrenic, bipolar market. Yes. Uh, single families and condos, completely two different things. So. Correct. And, I'm missing and, a lot. Yeah, I'm missing a lot of higher activity as well on condos as well. Correct. We have that gap. So I included all of Miami Gardens, Hollywood Hills, West Park, um, uh, North Miami Beach, North Miami, all of that western part of our territory. That's all included in this, which is so hot. It's over. It's it's kind of allowing what's going on on the beach to not skew the numbers because East is very cool compared to West. And we're just talking 95. We're not talking West part of the County. We're just talking just on the other side of 95 all the way up until 595. Lee, last, uh, last week it was 2.7 months and 36%. Yes. Correct. Correct. Look, look what happened. Listings went down. Yep. And closings have now, we're getting towards the end of the month. So the closings now are going to ramp up because closings ramp up at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. And this is what our, um, Ariana just shared, is that it's moving. It's hot. Things are happening. Yep. I mean, look at pending. 257. 250 came on the market. 257 came off the market. Wow. And yep. just add in there, since the market is so hot, I just listed my condo. We just got an offer on it, cash. So if anyone has a property coming up in Hollywood Hills, before you list it, please contact me. <laughs> yes. The Hollywood Hills train. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Majende, um, let's share some of our new listings. The floor is yours um, to, to talk about Scott Leroy, and then we're going to close out the meeting. You're muted. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I wanted to talk to you guys about Scott Leroy. Um, Scott Leroy is able to set up and activate uh, your entire MyKW platform and also Command. Some of the things that he offers is weekly live training on Command classes, um, teaching you how to um, upload your database, learning opportunities, utilizing design. Um, he have live support Monday through Friday. Uh, his information, we can send, we send out his information usually when we send out the email. So, and also he has templates for us to use, to utilize for our marketing. They have templates for social media, templates for your um, emails, templates for flyers. The other thing we, I want to discuss, talk about is Facebook. Please, please, please stay active in our Facebook page. We are updating, um, we are uploading training uh, recordings that we had, like Sheikah's classes on Saturdays. If you miss anything, um, the Richard Bass, when Richard Bass have his trainings, we upload those once we get the recording. So please make sure that you guys are keeping up to date with our Facebook page. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Sue so say the listings. So congratulations to the new listings taken. Uh, we have Alien and Koa with a 1.2. Yeah. Um, Chloe, Congratulations, Chloe, on your list. Yeah, yeah, and you already got it, multiple offers on that one, right? It's going to be pending today. We have over ask offers, so um, if anything, we'll take back up. But um, yeah, and it's it's an expired listing, by the way, that I've been uh, hunting since 2018. In the meantime, they listed twice with other agent, nothing moved. And also, I want to give a shout out to um, Joseph. Uh, for the pictures is really good. He's an agent in our office and has a um, photo business. Mm -hmm. um, I asked him to do a beautiful uh, sunset 
you know, uh, retouching on the picture. I think it, you know, it contributed to have also so many eyes on the property. So yeah, that's, he's good. So. For sure. So if you want Joseph's uh, contact information, just, just call the front desk and uh, we'll get you his contact info. Well done. Thank you, Chloe. Uh, next, we have Jonathan Gordon, uh, Chica Anderson with a rental. Um, Elian and Koa. Ansola and Phi Group. Rentals, rentals, rentals. RGT with a rental. And Adam Zahari. Congratulations all on your new listings. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'll make this uh, short and sweet since we are a little bit over. Um, I do want to leave you with, uh, with a parting thought. Do you ever ask yourself these questions? Will this make me rich? Will people be impressed? How hard do I need to try? How long will this take? What's in it for me? Should I do this or should I do something else instead? These are the questions that we could ask ourselves amongst our day's opportunities and our day's obligations. So in a, in a parting thought, I want you to, to, to think of this statement. If I do what is easy, life will be hard. If I do what is hard daily, life will be easy. Is there something on your mind that you're like, oh, I got to do it, I got to do it, I got to do it, and the next day goes by, and the next day goes by, and the next day goes by, and we don't get to it? Is life harder than it needs to be? The truth is we all have distractions. However, ask yourself, do you follow a schedule? What does your schedule include? Does it include the activities to make life easy. If there's ever a doubt of what is important in your business, ask yourself, who is holding me accountable to the activities necessary to make life easier? I am committed to each of you. I am committed to our leadership team. We as a leadership team and council are dedicated to making life as easy as we can for each of you from a work standpoint through systems and models along with technology to make life as easy as we can physically and financially. I'm grateful to be in business with each of you and thank you. This is the parting thoughts for this week and I'm grateful to be in business with all of you. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you, Lee.